Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me on today's tutorial. So the baby girl collection is now out, so I have the boy here and I have the girl here. So a couple of weeks ago I shared this tutorial on how to make this album with the boy kit. And this is made out of 8x8 envelopes and today we're going to be doing the girl version which came out last Friday. So the links for this kit, this is by Knitwit Collections, it's a digital kit so it's all printables and the link for that will be down below and also the papers that I've printed this all out on the links for those will be down below as well so there'll also be this tutorial on my website with um, measurements and everything that you'll need there so everything will be on my website as well so again the link for that will be down below that will take you straight to the project so moving on last week uh, or was it two weeks ago I made this album it's made by 8 by 8 envelopes it's really easy and simple and I have another one here that I actually made. So I said in the last video I was going to decorate this with you guys today. So I have that ready to go. So if you missed that video, that will be linked down as well. Um, so this is the album. It's really quick and simple to make. Just pop it all in. Makes the perfect gift. So we're going to do the girl version. So let's have a look at the collection. Okay, so these are all the elements here. So I've printed this on some different sorts of paper. I do use two types when I print my kits. So this is what I print my um, embellishments on, all my little elements here. This is by HP, it's Professional Paper 180, and I get this off Amazon. It says glossy, but it's kind of a semi-matte gloss, just a slight sheen. It's the, si it's the type of paper that you'd, you'd, you'd use for um, leaflets and menus and things. So I love this one absolutely perfect for the embellishments it gives them a little bit of a shine and it stands out from the actual papers so you get so many elements here so this is all from the uh which kit was it it's from the fqb kit so in the fqb kit you get pretty much everything you need just to make this album i have used a few other elements from from the other things but the whole collection is available at 20 percent off i think it's 20 percent i always forget how much that is so um, it is really worth get, get, getting the whole entire kit so and um, there's absolutely loads of elements here and all the little things that you're going to be needing as your baby grows up eight solid foods for the first time and all my first some lovely arrows and my favorite the flowers and i love these owls so we have these in the boys version as well. Lovely flowers here and some nice little sayings as well, as well as another place here for more journaling and for recording things. So I'm going to do pretty much a similar album to my previous album because I do have a boy and a girl and um, I'd like the albums to be very similar. So those are my, my cutouts. I cut those out by hand because I had a bit of spare time and I do like fussy cutting. I didn't use my Cricut for this one. Right, so these are the papers. Right, so I'll have a link for these white papers. It's, it's by um, HP again and they're called Professional Inkjet Paper 120 Matte. That's M-A-T-T. -T. And it comes in an A3 size, which I then chop in half to make a UK sized A4. So this would be an A3 chop them in half and feed them through so these have printed out in a way so that it's it's not fitted to the page when I print my um, digital papers I don't use any fancy software at all I literally just right click on the image and a drop down box comes and you click on print and then all my printing option comes up and then there's a there's a little box and a little section that says fit to page. I untick that and it shrinks my image down so it fits on the paper. So if you tick the box, basically you will end up with your image being zoomed in so that it fits the entire page area. So this is fit to page, it's ticked. And this is another one, fit to page, so it's ticked again, but I, I have unclicked the borderless section on my options. So this is a board, uh, not borderless, so it's printed with a white border around. And if you 
click the borderless you will get complete edge to edge printing so there's a few tips there so let's have a look at, look at the papers so this one these papers are all from the fqb kit i think they're lovely just love pinks and greens together obviously this is my favorite so these ones are nice quilted prints there so sorry about the light today it is a very bright day but and um, the sun is quite high it's only coming up to about 10 o'clock in the morning so it's midsummer here and um, lovely ones here but the light is quite yellow today so blue skies and very yellow hues so it's filling the uh, the room with lots of yellows so these are going to be my front pages so what I'm going to be doing now is I'll be decorating the album. I'm going to put you guys on um, fast forward. And if you want to know how to make this album here, just and you missed the other tutorial, the link will be down below just to get to this stage. And then come back to this video and then we can finish it off. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys on fast forward now and then I'll be back to do a final recap.
Okay, so I finished the book now. So this is the front. It's I've I've kept the same theme as the baby boy. And this is the back. So I've I've used some really cheap and um, this is really cheap because I've ran out of um my other foam pad so I just picked up some really cheap ones so these are actually um, flatter than my others so I've just popped those up onto foam pads so going on the inside I have this is the first page so this will probably be the picture of the first picture that was taken of her and then I have some um, smaller photo mats here that just tuck into that space there and a nice little journaling card so I can write some notes and some memories so here we have a section here for adding name date time weights and height and I've left areas here so a photo can be put underneath there so I just love these flowers next we have another tuck point here so I've left space behind this flower and some mats here there's plenty of room for photographs and I do have a picture of her first smile so I'll pop that here somewhere, I took a few, so this will be the, the first smile uh, page. And then you also get some lovely prompting cards as well uh, for your memories. So if you have any of the photos that would match with um, these sayings, um, they'll be perfect for adding them to your album. So another photo mat there, you can add, you can just add some more if you want. And then here we have, I struggled with this one, but I'm going to leave it as it is, um, add my photos, and then see where we are. So we have some more prompting cards here. So today for the first time I rolled over. I don't think I have a photo of that one, but I do have a video and photos of when she first crawled. So that could go here. I may even upload my video to a personal YouTube account um, of her crawling and then I you can um, create a QR code or a QBR uh, I think it's a QR code um, it's like a barcode and I'll probably stick that here and if you scan it with your phone it will take you to the video so it's one way of making your album interactive so if you do have videos you can create a specific YouTube private account and then add the codes to your album and then people can just scan them and then watch the video so that's an idea. So here, I like this one. I just love the way these flowers go. I should have printed out more flowers because I really love the look of adding flowers to the album. So here we have the last page. I did struggle with this one um, because this is quite a busy background and I found that anything I put on there kind of disappeared into, into it. So I needed a bit more definition. So with this arrow here, I've added um, some of the green matting and I've matted all of these as well. Um, and here we have the ABC and some more flowers and some more tuck points. So I've got another photo mat here and my first. That probably, I'm not sure if I have a picture of her first haircut. Um, so I'm going to think of something else for my first. For our first walk outside or something. Because around about the age of one they're starting to walk. So uh, yeah, Katie was one year and one week old when she first um, started walking and running around. And then there was trouble. Right, so that tucks there. So there's plenty of room now um, for my photos. And if I do have any extra photos, I can just print off some more of these and mat my photos onto those and find some more tuck points for them. So this is a good thing about the digital kit. You can print off as much stuff as you need. And if you run out, you can go back and you can print off the rest. So I have three, uh, four embellishments left over. I have an elephant, two bows, and one button so I'll add my photos um, and then I'll see if I can add any of these extras and if there is anything missing I'll go back to my computer and I'll print some more things out so um, if you enjoyed today's video give me a thumbs up subscribe as there's plenty more mini albums coming and next month is the start of my Christmas in July series which I'm gearing up for at the moment so um, I'll be starting to film those very soon. So make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss my Christmas in July series. Um, if you want to view previous Christmas in July series, they're going to be on my channel on playlists. So I have uh, two main and two 
the Christmas in July series. So that's four series to catch up on if you haven't watched any of them. So thank you for joining me today. All the links are down below. If you need um, any answer, questions answering, um, I'll be around for the first hour after this video um, has uh, been published. So I'll be around for the first hour on YouTube. Uh, so if you have any questions, fire away. And if you have any questions after the first hour, I will be popping in every now and then over the next week and I'll be answering questions then but um, yeah best time to catch me is the first hour after this video so thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time